Good morning vlog. How are we on this damp December morning? It's actually very mild, but it's been raining all night. Um, so I am filming this on a New Year's Eve, but I know this will be coming out on Wednesday. So I want to be the first to say to you guys, and I will have said it first because it's not New Year yet. Happy New Year. Let's get into it. Oh, I'm so excited if you can't tell. We are off for a early morning training session with Miss Maggie because we have hired Vale View, which is one of the biggest um, arena eventing arenas and arena cross country courses. That's probably the better way to say it in the area. And I also want to say like, in the country they've made it huge and it's a fantastic facility and this is maggie's first jumping outing so i'm so excited it's also her first time seeing solid fences since april and i don't know what we're going to get up to whether we're just going to piddle around and do some little bits and have a bit of fun she's going to be excited and we'll just have to take it as it comes and see what happens but i just cannot wait so let's get some bits together. I need to do a haylage net, which is why I got my tripod, um, and quickly slip out the stables, grab together all of um, Maggie's kit. Mum's around moving the boys, and um, then I need to stick tight in the field, Maggie on the lorry, and off we go to go jumping. So small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town, look at those beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car, nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me, try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town, look at those beautiful stars, I wanna take a trip to Mars, nothing can Okay then guys, so for the clips of Miss Moo being ridden, my wonderful friend Amy popped along and came to do cameraman duty so mum was able to just help me and watch with her eyes rather than through a phone screen which is quite a nice treat. So as you can see we're just working Miss Maggie in. I have left every single clip in for you guys to see. You will see every single jump that we do so we're just having a walk trot canter at the minute she looks lovely okay and you can see maggie's quite keen to come out but i'm just working her and softening her and for the voiceovers i'm just gonna pop in and out um as and when required and you can see just over in the corner you'll have noticed mom has been um sorting out the trotting poles for me so that maggie can have a little bit of uh, work over them as well once we're going my routine when I'm cross-country schooling as such or schooling with anything is very relaxed and just keep it steady and let the horses really learn and use their bodies. So you can see we're just having a nice walk trot canter, checking she's off my leg 
and then we're going to start and have a little bit of a work over the trotting poles and just let her think about her feet. Lay my troubles to rest, blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine, and I know this is my time now. I'm going to be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm going to skip my breaks, I'm going to make mistakes. Only flat work though. Okay, so as you saw there, Maggie was very game already locking on to the probably the biggest corner on site. And then just before she had her very first jump, I just let her go for a quick blast down the long side to wake her up. You can see she's really switched on and a pop over the fence. Good girl. And we were just having a quick loosen off before we popped it down to the smaller jumps because we really weren't there to jump very big today. It was just to see what Maggie thought and... I think already you can see from her expression exactly what her thoughts are, which is very happy to be out and about. Well, Evie, why not do the jump over the fence? Yeah. 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 Okay, so this was the perfect way to just ease her back in. It's what she's been used to her whole life with the training. We just tried to string fences together so she gets into a nice little stride. And we were just starting with really little diddy jumps just to see what she thought. And <laughs> she was obviously very pleased and has not forgotten a thing by the looks of it because she's just out and loping along, popping <laughs> over the fences. And what I really like about Vale is the arena's not flat, so you've got a bit of undulation to canter up and down. Now we're coming to the corner here, and we completely took the flag out because she spooked her bucket on top of the corner, and that's just that lack of match practice. And we're doing a few little turns, so she has to come back to me. Now Maggie used to be incredibly, incredibly tricky with water, and look at her just canter through. Yeah, she's having a spook in it but she just cantered through. She didn't even used to walk in voluntarily, so not too bad. We then went to pop over the ditch and we're all in training mode, so we've gone for a little bit of a steady walk-jog pace. This lets Maggie assess the question and jump the ditch because she wants to jump it rather than because she's got too much momentum to do anything else. And it also makes her think about where her feet are so she doesn't go and pop her legs down it. 
and now because she was a bit iffy over the corner we've just strung another couple of fences together a little bit of an iffy stride but that doesn't matter she can figure her own feet out and we're popping over the corner the other way and much much straighter she's like oh yes i remember what we're doing now and just popping another couple of fences and stringing them together very happy miss magsy albeit a little bit strong <laughs> Now, let's add in a trachina. So I think I decided to pop the corner again, just to be sure that we completely understood it. And then came round to pop the trachina, which you will see she did with glee. As you may have noticed, I've just started upping the height of the fences a little bit as I go, and she's jumping just the same, which is a very good sign. Now, we went on to the owl hole. Maggie is horrible to jump through our holes to say the least she doesn't like having stuff over her head she's nearly dislodged me a couple of times um she's just obviously very careful over them so you if you just watch her ears as she goes through you'll see what i mean and sometimes she can really really duck so we just trot and pop and um having asked for advice from so many other trainers we don't have any other advice other than keep doing it and she'll just get used to it and maybe sit tight for an uncomfortable jump um but she's getting better steadily it's just mileage i guess there's no other training i can do so next we went for a proper play in the water like i said maggie didn't used to like water at all so um we do quite a lot of water schooling and it's taken her a long time to get confident with dropping off of drops she's actually better jumping a fence into water than um coming down a step so this is what we went off to do and yet again she just seemed like she hadn't forgotten anything she's a very clever mare and it appears as soon as she's learned something she's just like yep I've got this mum. It just takes her a little bit of time to trust it initially and then she's really got your back. Next task was to check if we remembered how to jump skinnies, so I thought I'd string a couple together. And then I'd spotted this lovely interspace fence and I decided if she was jumping well, I was going to pop over it. Mum was quite nervous at this stage. This is the point when she starts being like, oh, the jump's getting a bit bigger. Um, but we came round and gave it a go. The little house. What? finish off with Maggie being so good we decided just to string a bit of a course together
have a faster car I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town and so that is the end of our jumping. You have seen every single jump we did. We school in a very relaxed state, just go. And if there's no problems, we just move on to the next bit as long as the horse has understood. And we like to string stuff together. Um, so that corner where we really stood off, there was a bucket very close. And bear in mind how spooky she was earlier at the bucket. So I just thought I'm just going to keep her straight and keep my legs on and... Maggie decided to take it into her own hands that she would take off a whole stride early. But um, luckily, she's very clever, bless her, and she can get herself out of the situation. And, you know, if we mollycoddle the horses with their strides too much, then they don't um, learn to look after themselves. So it's really good to do that in training um, and let her pick where she's going and I can look after the straightness. So we're looking after our own responsibilities. So I just finished off with a nice stretchy trot round in the top arena. I didn't see any point in um, jumping any of the big jumps up there. We can come back another day. Um, this was just a exercise just to check where we were at and get Maxi out and about. And I was thrilled with her. Think and break me. Ah, we're home now. I'm just about to offload Maggie, but I'm fetching her turn out rug so she can go straight into the field. I am so overwhelmingly happy with her. I could not have expected her to come out any better. She's not forgotten a thing. We may be like not as refined as we would usually be. But she locked onto skinnies, she jumped ditches, she jumped into water and <laughs> cantered straight through the water, um, which is usually her iffy thing. So, uh, and she did it all joyfully. So I honestly couldn't be happier. And I hope you've enjoyed coming along with us today and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.